What's up guys, it's me Coots here, and I'm going to be showing you how to install iOS 4. I think it's called GM Seed or some crap like that. Yeah, or gold, whatever. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to uh, need iTunes 9, which is right here. Or not right there, hold up. One more time, okay. So this is the link right here. I'll put it in the description. Yeah. Then you're also going to need um uh what should we call it? iOS 4 obviously, GM. Now iOS 4 is going to be the easiest thing to get. I'll show you the website how to get it though. So basically you're going to want to go to um you want to go to here, iPhone Heat. It's where I found I f or iTunes 9.2 and you're just going to want to type in obviously iOS for download and it is going to be your second iOS sorry OS or sorry yeah iOS okay yeah it's going to be your second link right here iPhone heat and they have everything from iPod Touches, 2G, 3G, iPhone 3G, and 3GS. Then if you scroll down a little bit, you have all your da or jailbreaking and all that crap. You got App Sync, which is already out. Yeah. So basically, you're just going to want to, after you download iTunes, you're just going to want to install it. Now see, I would not recommend doing this, but then again, I would, because this is technically for developers only, but you know, alright, let us quit, alright, there we go. So while that is installing, I will go and I will put iOS 4 from my other computer onto my Mac. So while my computer is having a meltdown, I will go through a couple things. Um, first off, this install is for Mac OS only, because you can only get OS, or yeah, or sorry, uh, iTunes 9.2 for Mac only. Um, iTunes 9.2 is technically supposed to be for developers only, but again, we got our hands on it. And for iOS 4, I know that before you needed some GID code or whatever. With this one, um, you don't. It's available to install. But you need iTunes 9.2 to get it, which is for developers only. So this is why I'm showing you this way to do it. And our installation is indeed done. So we sh you know, let's just see install. So I believe we can trash that. If we click over here, that should be iTunes 9.2. And it is. And it looks like it opened up without a problem. This is pretty insane, guys. So it actually worked, okay? Alright, so uh, sorry about that. I had to get a Mac. Never mind, never mind. So here it is, I iPhone 4.0, restore, whatever. Now this should work, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grab my iPhone, my jailbroken iPhone, and I am going to plug it in. Now see, keep in mind that this iPhone is um, on sync with another computer, so most likely it's going to pop up as a... <clears throat> um, need to resync or some shit. You know what? I'm willing to do that. 
So while we let iTunes load, it's going to verify my iPhone. Yeah, verify my iPhone. I've never seen that done before. Because apparently there's fake iPhones out there, guys. Yep, okay. Crap, what is it? Okay, so now you're supposed to hit the option or alt key. We'll go into store and go. We'll hit that. We'll choose. Yeah, let's verify the restore. So I have not tested this out. This is a complete shot in the dark. But from what I hear, this should work. Let's just make sure that this is, um, actually no we can't, okay, fine. So it did pass through then. I just gotta hope that an error doesn't occur halfway through. So it looks as if this is going to work. Alright, so... I can tell you guys right now that I will be making a, jail, a jailbreaking video for this. iPhone software. You know, this is supposed to be a really fast install, supposedly, but so far it's the slowest install I've seen in my life. Okay, so the install, like, finished. So, basically... This is what your device will look like with its different background when you turn it on. Except for, because I have a 3G, you'll just get a black background. That's one of the features that isn't included. Wallpaper support and multitasking. So what I had to do is I had to jailbreak with red snow. And I hit the option enable background and uh, multitasking. So now I have both background and multitasking. So really, some really basic features on this is, of course, the new Folders app. The Game Center app, which isn't really that special at all. Considering that none of my friends have this. And, yeah, so really there's only the me, friends, and requests. I don't understand the whole point of this thing. And of course I got Cydia, Jill broke it. What else? Um Oh. Um I didn't think they would include this, but now if you tap there the camera has a little zoom option. I saw the video for this, but I didn't think that three Gs would get it. And as long as iTunes doesn't crash on me, I will show you one thing. So I'm gonna plug my iPhone in. My iPhone's plugged in right here, and as long as this doesn't crash on me, oh look, I thought Windows 7 was supposed to be perfect. iPhones, or sorry, iTunes has stopped working. It's a shame, it's a shame. Alright, give me a minute to fix this. Alright, so my iPhone is plugged in, and as you can see, get a nice error message right here. The iPhone iPhone cannot be used because it requires iTunes version 9.2 or later. So you have to go to the iTunes website and download the latest version of iTunes. Yeah, well, I'm on my PC, not my Mac. So as you can see, you can only sync this thing with a Mac until, I think it's June 21st when the software comes out. So this has been Kroopser on another one of my videos. And subscribe to my channel and all the usual stuff. Peace.